I'm at a Windows 2022 data center server, although you can use any Windows server that works for you. And what I'm going to do is install Backup Exec 22. I've got my Veritas DVD in, and this is a fresh installation. I'm not doing an upgrade. I don't have anything else installed in this server. So if you do have a previous version on there, just make sure that Veritas says you can uh, go ahead and upgrade from the one you have. Always a good idea to take a look at the pre-installation. And what that'll do is it'll just make sure you have everything you need in order to do the install. So I'll click Next. This is going to be a local installation, although you can install it to another computer if you want to. As long as you don't get any reds, then you should be fine. If you have some warnings, you can take a look at them, seeing if they mean anything to you. In my case, it says it doesn't have the SQL Server installed, but that's okay. It'll install what it needs for that. And I'll just go ahead and click Finish. And I'm going to go to where it says Installation. And I'm going to choose Backup Exec itself. Now, I don't want to choose the agent here. You have to install the full version into at least one server before you can install the agent in another. And now it's running through the install. Installation can take anywhere from 10 minutes up to an hour, just depending on the speed of your computer as well as your resources available. Next, you can see I'm going to be copying the backup exec SLF file, which is what's needed in order to do the installation of the uh, rephrase, in order to do the installation. And I'm just going to paste that in. And after I copy and paste that in, then I can go ahead and select it from the list. And then it will find it and use it as my license file. Next, it's going to show me all the different options that I can install, such as adding in the agent for Linux, as well as other options. We could also use the virtual tape library support. We've got, of course, VMware and Hyper-V, along with standard Windows types of installation agents. Now it's going to show you which hard drive to select, then it's going to have you put in the username and password, and it will give you log on as a service rights, and then it will continue doing installation. Now take a look at the amount of time that's on there. This is going to give you an estimate of how much more time it's going to need for installation. And it's using the information based on the speed and the resources available on the computer that is showing how much time it's going to take. In this case, it says around 20 minutes. But in your case, it might show a lot higher or a lot less, just depending on the type of hard drives and server you have. Installation is complete. We can choose to view the readme file or remove the desktop icon. I'm just going to leave it as is. We can also choose to do a survey and installation. Now we can open up the application and opening up Backup Exec 22 for the first time. Here are some configuration tasks and dashboard checkboxes that we can use to view or to take off several different types of boxes. Under the Backup and Restore, here's where we can back up our servers and we can add additional servers from here by clicking the Add Server option which is right here. Here's the job monitor. It shows us the jobs as they exist and as they're running. We can add storage here and also get reporting as well. So that is the installation for Backup Exec 22. I'll be doing additional videos on the overview as well as individual tasks.